wow, since everything is prepared, now I'm going to start to do my third coil fish painting. Wow, finally, I finished the simple base layout of my coil fish painting. There's still a lot of work on it though. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. I think that's it for today. I'm going to take a rest. I will do it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Well, although I enjoy doing oil painting, but I seldom do oil painting in the past uh, because one of the main reasons is um, it would take usually a few weeks to a month to finish one oil painting and um, but that is not the most important thing because I enjoy it, it doesn't matter uh, I think one of the main reasons is because I really don't like the smell of the oil materials um, even though nowadays many many uh, oil products they are very high quality and they try their best to meet with the safety standard but for myself uh, every time after I paint for a couple of few hours I don't feel too well uh, my eye will turn red color and my chest area feel like stuck not comfortable so I will follow the most natural ways when I don't feel comfortable I stop doing the oil painting at once and a very uh, uh, important advice to people that want to do oil painting or doing oil painting make sure you're doing it in an area that's full of fresh air uh, like outdoor is the best if you have to do it indoor make sure you, all your windows open and make sure there's a continuous flow of fresh air coming in otherwise not very good for your health and uh, also oh what also one uh, reminder too oh many people say well this is why they don't do oil painting they do the uh, aquatic painting is more safe well actually it's not really though even in the in some of the material uh, product label they didn't weigh down there's a danger or a percentage of element inside but uh, if you go to some uh, cancer society's information you can find out that uh, there's still some element in the acrylic material can cause cancer too so make sure always be cautious and paint in an area that is full of fresh air constant wind and fresh air coming in and out wow how colorful boy I've spent so many hours today really not bad at least I finished the basic uh, layout of my oil painting well some of you will say wow not much different not like the one that you did like uh, the, the, the video you showed me just before like a week ago that it was the same well actually it's not man I tell you for the past few days I've been keep working on this oil painting boy you know what if you don't love painting I'm sure you cannot do oil painting because really testing your patience and your love how deep is your love on painting especially on oil painting boy 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 this one still have a lot of things to do before it can be completed but I already like it very much well for those of you that uh, often go to uh, art gallery or art exhibition uh, you will find out that the price for oil painting is much higher than the other uh, painting like uh, more higher than uh, watercolor uh, the reason why is because really it takes a long long time to finish uh, oil painting well if you don't know how to calculate the most simple easy dummy way is uh, like uh, for example you take the minimum wage for a minimum hour per, per hour for a person a day and then to finish uh, oil painting at least take a couple weeks or months or even months so you can add up and see how much it will cost just on the labor not including the material 
and tools. Those are more expensive than all, uh, watercolor painting, though. But uh, of course, I'm not including the fact that uh, how famous, how popular, how influential uh, of the artists that are doing the painting, right? If you add all those on, then oh boy, it becomes very expensive, expensive, though. This is why I say many oil paintings is really undervalued and people didn't appreciate, didn't know about that though. Uh, of course, uh, now there's so many mass production oil paintings full of the whole uh, market. Uh, those are done by uh, in a factory by many, many uh, oil workers that each one do a little part and then paint it and then finish the whole painting. This is why the price is very, very, very cheap. But uh, if you're an art lover, and then you, of course, you will know that those are two different things, right? It's just like a real diamond and an artificial diamond. It's different while you know. It's not easy to be an artist, but I want to be an artist. I love to be an artist because this is what I love since I'm a small child. Well, for the past uh, 10 years, uh, usually I exhibit all the painting is majority uh, Chinese uh, painting and some watercolor only one or two piece of oil painting so this is why uh, some of you may think that I only specialize in my Chinese painting that's not true though and I always love oil painting and acrylic painting I've been doing them for a long time oh oh so you want uh, acrylic painting that I did boy when I was in university Do, 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 do. See, this is my acrylic landscape painting. Actually, I love landscape painting, but I seldom do them though. Well, one of my goal is hopefully one of these days I will start to do a series of uh, landscaping, and as you can tell, my landscaping is very abstract though. And this is my style and this is what I love. Look. Very unique, very artistic. Love it, love it, love it. Well let's see how many years. Oh I forgot to write the day and year on this painting when I was doing it though. But this is I did this painting when I was in university. I also took one the visual fine art course there though. Um, wow, do, do, do. Um, this painting at least more than 30 years for sure, minimum. Well, after so many days working on this painting, all the basic layout and foundation is all finished, but the painting is not finished yet, still lots of work. But so far, so good. Happy. I like both uh, watercolor and oil painting but um, if you want me to uh, choose which one I enjoy more it's hard to say though just like compare apple and orange but I found out uh, oil painting is more uh, interesting and more fun of course take more time too I enjoy doing a uh, fish painting because each single one of the fish they are so unique and different. Well, let's take a look. Compare this painting with the one that I did about four weeks ago. Even though they are all about coil fish, maybe they look all similar to you at the beginning. But if you pay attention, look closer, then you find out that each of them are different all you need and this is why I really enjoy doing a uh, fish painting and why I always have them as a pet since I'm a small child well I better go back and work on this painting otherwise I will never finish it well that's enough for today because after a long while my eyes really get very tired and I'm kind of exhausted too. Now 
It's the part that I don't really enjoy is to clean all my tools. Or you have to use the chemical to clean your brush very, very carefully inside out. And after this, you have to go to wash it very, very, very well. Wow, after so many days, finally this painting is finished. Well, the size of this painting is a uh, little bit bigger than the other two coil fish uh, oil painting that I did uh, months ago. And also there's more details in this painting. This is why they take even more longer time to uh, finish. But the result is gorgeous. I really like it. It's beautiful. Very charming. Now the painting is 100% finished because I just signed my name here, uh, my initial, because uh, my full name is too long. Peter Suxin Chan, not enough space. So usually I would just write down my initial P S S C. Peter Suk Sin Chan. Ah, it's so wonderful. Finally, I finished this painting and they look good. Now I'm just going to put this painting aside for about one month and it will be completely dry. Then I can hang it up on the wall and it will look beautiful, beautiful. And during this month, I hope I will have some time, mood, idea, energy to do at least one more oil painting. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Look how nice.